Today we're ranking trash. There's just so much great trash out there that many of us will never have the privilege of collecting or rating, so this is just some trash I'm currently keeping under my desk like normal person. By the way, I'm making Howl's Moving Castle almost entirely out of garbage, so come back next month to see it. First up, some classics. Wheat Thins, that's an S tier snack. Wheat Thins box, also S tier. Paperboard is one of the most versatile materials and one I keep way too much of. It's great for shingles, 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 shingles. And overall, it's just a strong, sturdy material that can be cut up into tiny details too. Clear plastic packaging. This is a classic material for making windows, though it can be tricky to work with. Certain glues have trouble sticking to it, and if you're bad at painting within the lines like me, it can be tricky to avoid getting paint on your glass, but that's just a personal problem. B-tier trash. Tofu and snack containers. The varieties of corrugation are unmatched on these packages, and even if you can't find a crafting use for one, you can use it to hold a thousand bricks. A tier. Speaking of corrugation, we can't not mention paper. I technically bought these, so it doesn't count as trash, but stay on the lookout for the free corrugation everywhere, like this box, or the inner structure on the phospholipid bilayer of a cardboard box. The corrugated texture makes great roofing and siding if you're going for a metal corrugated look, but it's also passable as roof tiles. A tier stuff for sure, maybe even S tier. Drink and jar carriers. These are really hit or miss for me. For example, this one has cool teeth that I previously used as an aggressive cyberpunk toilet. But these larger chunkos have been wasting away in my bins for months now. D tier, but I'm keeping them all in my collection anyway. Next we have the bottom part of an egg carton, which I've kept under my desk for over a year. I don't know, these lumpy cones seem kind of interesting and the bottom has a bunch of these discs which could be useful. We'll go ahead and put it into the E tier or the mystery tier because the use has not been revealed to us yet. This is the limiter that Big Salsa puts on the end of hot sauce bottles for the untested who are afraid to let the spice flow. Take this circular piece off immediately for some pretty decent pipe related detailing. D tier, I don't know. This is an S tier toothpaste for my soft sensitive teeth, but it also has a cap on the end that could make a pretty decent rocket engine. C tier. If you are a fancy and you find yourself with Kirkland Signature imported French Brie, the container is made out of what seems like a thin balsa wood, and you know we're always looking for some thin wood. Use this for any details that require some wood grain. And bonus, the lid has a paperboard that is already cut into a perfect circle, which is a shape that is impossible to replicate with scissors. We'll put this brie in the brie tier. Speaking of wood, always save takeout chopsticks, food skewers, and coffee stirrers. Here's a little Tory gate I made out of all three, plus some corrugated paper for the roof. Brita water filters. As we've learned previously, the top part is very good for pod racers, but what about the bottom section? held on to it for a long while before finally retiring it back to the trash. But it actually makes a pretty nice safety receptacle for used hobby blades so they aren't dangerously floating in a garbage can just waiting to do some damage. We'll move this back up to the BC range. Be careful with cutting blades. Hmm? Oh, it's a whole tub of miscellaneous plastic caps that my neighbor Nancy brought over. S tier. If you have a neighbor that knows you collect garbage, that's automatically S tier because it's just so nice of them to think of you. She also brings over S tier scones. Quick trash tip, tell the people around you that you like cool garbage so they bring you their top tier trash. Like this Thomas the Tank Engine candy tube, or an old broken digital camera that you can harvest for tiny parts. Sour cream containers. F tier? Only if the F stands for flocking. I keep all my dirt, rock, sand, and mossy things in these S tier vessels. Metal lids. Not so great for crafting, but have you ever tried mixing up something in plastic that melts plastic? It's bad. I use these for mixing up small amounts of oil paint with mineral spirits. They're not entirely necessary if you aren't using mineral spirits in your crafting, so we'll place it in the mystery tier. Take out food containers. The details are usually pretty interesting, but the material is sometimes a little flimsy and melts with hot glue. If you don't mind cleaning out the greasy food oils on the bottom of these containers, you're left with what could be a pretty cool roof awning on the front of a shop. Let's go with C tier. What about all that cool free junk that's polluting your local sidewalks? This stuff's a two for one. If you pick it up, not only do you get potentially cool free crafting material, you also get invisible points for being a good person that picks up trash. You never know what you're gonna get out there, just keep staring at the ground for the choice stuff. Mystery tier for this. 
As long as we're on the topic of picking up things off the ground, a note should be mentioned about natural items. Things like sticks and bark are great for scale logs and scale cliff sides respectively. Just make sure to give these things a stew and bake to eliminate any potential living stowaways. Lastly, it's time to rank this tier list. This whole thing is going into the F tier because ranking trash is a very personal thing. F tier trash today might be S tier tomorrow once you figure out a cool use for it. The point is, cancel your waste services and start a landfill under your desk. That's all the trash we have time for today since I need to get back to building Howl's Moving Castle. Thanks to all the patrons that have helped support this channel, but more specifically, thank you to the cool new patrons that have joined, such as Mr. Creepy Pasta, Gardner, Bofa, Vigard, Megatron, Colin, Don, Caster, Jargo, Luffy, Mominator, One, My Lady, Erin, Carly, Campbell, Disastrix, Ariana, Celis, Mary, Byers, Alan, Ricks, Aphrodite, the Immortal, Rock and Roll, King of Earth, Captain G, Crazy, Kazoo, the Boomba Looms, Little Burps, Alex Carlson, Nathan Gold, Mal Florin Upton, Catnip Christensen, Matthew Gold, Dwayne, Amy Duffy Gun, Sepulcha, Susie Krupp, Amanda Ellie, Reneva Martin, Allard, Vanessa P, Emily Monaghan, Eric Lucas, Bongo Bambi, Ember Mandy, Sol Corrales, and please, Calcera Breeze Games, Justine McNeil L, and Justin Maple's father, Jules and Claire, Acliao, J. Chow, Josie Smith, Brit, Brit, Brit. AD, H Dogs, Man's Lady Hawk, Mini Sheep on Goose Lambs and Ducks, Jennifer Klein, Lauren Benchback, Michael Speckle, Simrel, Crystal or Francis, Medicine Taylor, Go to Gray, Arn Felt, Stephanie Hutchings, Stick Buddy, Matt of Blackjack, Josh Keita, Jess Rajen, Nah, Oliver Campbell, Amanda, Simon Menhamel, Catherine Shields, Ariel, Cruz Nyose, 